How you doing guys? It's Bam Bam. Well it's just Bam. GT2. Here with another video. Um this video right here. This is me just talking about my car overall. Um and overall I'm in love with this car. Uh, I'm starting to see like little weirds and stuff like that because of the sun. Uh the buttons like uh for the dials, like the turn the volume up and stuff like that. I can see it fading a little bit just because of the sun. Sorry, just because of the sun. Uh, I got a little weird and tear on this side of the seat um which is it's fine just because the simple fact that you know i'm sitting here so obviously the more you use it the more you know what i mean you're gonna get a little wear and tear so it is what it is um i keep my car fairly clean so it's dirty is not really a, like being like my car being dirty is not a problem at all because it's never really dirty i never have anybody in the back seat so the back seat still look new um and I never got my car uh, detailed when I first got the car because I told them like I wanted to detail my car and the only reason why I want to do that because I seen how dealership detailed the car and stuff like that when I had the K5 and I started noticing like little stuff little stuff that they didn't really clean and stuff like that and it kind of annoyed me because the car was already washed so I had to rewash it you know what I mean just to make you know so I was like, nah, I'm gonna just do it myself. You know what I mean? I feel comfortable doing it myself because I know personally it's done. Um, but I, I love the car to be honest. Um, uh, certain things I don't like to buy the car. I don't like the on and off switch thing for the engine. Uh, when I'm saving gas, yeah, it's fine. I'm always driving in ego mode. I'm not normally in a normal. I'm barely in normal. I'm more, most likely in ego mode. Like. Throughout my entire time throughout the day, if I use my car, I'm always in eco mode. Um, but that off and on stop thing is it's annoying because I'd rather have a, a option to just take it off like completely. And the the actual let me show you. Yeah, <sighs> Gary, though the actual center center console, like this portion of it, scratch pretty pretty easy. It scratched pretty easy, if y'all can see it. I'm sorry if I can't. And uh, this right here on the seat, yeah. Right here, the little white thing. It came off um, probably because uh, when I was driving before, I was like swinging and stuff like that. So I probably scratched it too much. Like, nothing crazy. Um, what else? Uh, I do not like about this car. Uh. kind of hard <laughs> it's, it's, it's honestly kind of hard i really like this car there's not really a lot of things i don't like oh the hash back in them well not the actual hash but the the little uh uh shelf that goes in the back uh, for the hatchback i took it off it's in my room right now and i don't use it because it's just like for me why you know um i know some people keep it on their car because they think it's like nice and stuff like that but for me personally it's like I don't use it like I don't use the shelf anyway and anytime I go in the back let's just say I had to wipe something down or I'm gra grabbing a you know something in the back or whatever like that like a tool or something like that what I don't want is to have stuff on top of it whereas though when I drop up open up the top all that stuff falls back down to the seat or if I'm driving it's going back and forth hitting against the mirror and stuff like that so it's kind of like you know I don't really want to use it to be honest like there's, there's no reason for me to use it so i kind of took it off because it's just in a way um but that's one thing i didn't really like about it um because it was like there's like no point in having that um and it, then one of the pieces on the side it breaks easily like i had it for like a while and when i was trying to take it off i just pop it out and the, like the little rubber piece thing that was on it it, it literally is like kind of came off it's still attached but it's kind of broken so it's like uh i was gonna glue it back but i'm like i don't, I don't really care i'm not i'm not never gonna use it so i don't really care um one other thing i do dislike is the paddle shifters now why it's because i know in the k5 when i'm when i switch switch over with the uh the uh little knob thing if y'all know what i'm talking about when i'm saying switch over like this uh when you're just switching the drive and stuff like that when you switch over and you're just using manual uh which is not really manual i 
I guess you say. But when you switch it over to manual to change your own gears, um, I'm doing the K5, it stays in there. So I can hit that stop sign, stop. Then when I drive, I just go back into switching gears. Here, if I stop, it goes straight back to automatic. Now I have to switch back over. And if I'm driving in it for too long, or I switch over to a, a gear, I'm in a gear too long or something like that, it would just switch back over to automatic. It's, it's annoying. Um, it's, it's really annoying. Because sometimes I'll be running, especially when I'm trying to launch the car, it won't let me launch in uh, uh, manual, which is understandable because automatic is quicker than me just switching like my fingers, whatever. So, but still, it's kind of annoying. It's kind of like, come on, man. Like, I can't, like, you know what I mean? So, but that's one thing I did hate about it because manual sounds great. It sounds great. Especially with the, the new whiz gates, it sounds great, but it's just annoying because it goes back to automatic after, I guess, a certain time or whatever like that. Um, uh, what else? Um, that's honestly it. To be honest, that's really it. I don't really have too much bad about this car, to be honest. That's, that's pretty much it. I mean, everything else works nice. The sunroof worked nice. The, like, everything works nice. It does what it does. And I've recently used the, uh, the vented seats. I never used them before. It feels pretty good. But I don't really have anything bad to say about the car. Um, to me, the car is a solid. It's solid. And this is my dream car. I wanted this car for a while now. Um, when I had my, I had a, my first car I had was a Ford Focus. Standard. I mean, standard, standard, standard. It was like a standard as standard goes. But hey, it, it was very, it was like only 10,000, but it was standard as crap. And I upgraded to a Chevy track when I went to Colorado Springs. And I had a Chevy track for a little bit. I liked it a lot because um, I wanted a car that I can, you know, jump into and stuff like that. But after a while, it was boring. It wasn't like, because when I drive fast, it wasn't fast. And it, was, it just wasn't, it just wasn't there. You know what I mean? It just wasn't there. And then when I got the the uh, Kia uh, K5, I'm like, okay, this joint got a little step. Because I was so used to driving the Chevy track. And I'm like, yeah, this is definitely faster, clearly. Like, yeah, I like this. This is, mm-hmm, I like this. Then when I started upgrading and stuff like that, I realized they had a Stinger. I never knew what a Stinger was until, like, I went there one day and got an order change. I was like, what's that car? He was like, oh, it's a Stinger. I looked at the engine. I'm like, damn, okay. And I look at how much, how fast it was, it was and all the stuff that came with it. I'm like, damn, I should have got this car. And then I tried to get it, but I just got the K5, so I had to wait to pay down some. So I'm like, God, man. I'm like, damn, I should have got that car. I, mean, I, I didn't even, I saw it, but I didn't, like, really, like, you know, think about it. I just kind of just saw the car, and I looked in the front. I'm like, well, the K5 looked better. Uh, and, you know, that's what I went with. But, um, yeah, I had the K5 for a minute, and then I already dreamed about getting this car. I was thinking about getting a Chrysler, and then I was like, uh, after looking at it and being inside of it, I'm like, the Chrysler is not really all that. Like, it's not really all that. Um, I don't know. It doesn't, it doesn't give me that, that, that push, that, that, that excitement. Like, every time I get in, it's kind of just one of them cars that's just like, I don't know. I, it, it just wasn't for me. I always want to get the Stinger. And surprisingly, I didn't even want to get rid of seats, to be honest. I wanted to, because I was, I, I did want to get rid of seats, but I was like, getting rid of seats is hard. Cause every time I see a, a Stinger rear seats, it costs so much, and I couldn't afford it. So I was like, the best option I can do is just get the GT1 or just get the GT. I still have the horsepower and everything. I might not have all the little Lucky and Chewies and stuff like that, but I still got the car, you know what I mean? I still got the sunroof, I still got the engine, the horsepower, I still got the uh, uh, all-wheel drive. I just don't got the all the little specs and little things that come with the car. But now, like, sometimes I like, I know people in this comment section below can probably, probably agree. I'm not trying to talk your head off, but I know y'all can probably agree. When you get when you get your first car, your dream car, and whether it's a BMW, whether it's a, 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 a Challenger or 392, wherever you get, wherever you go with, maybe you, you don't want the Stinger, maybe you just go 
to a Mustang or go to somewhere else, which is totally fine. When you get your dream car, I don't think it, it clicks into your head of like how hard you work to get that car until like, I know for me, it took me like probably two months afterwards. Like I was driving to my mom's house listening to music and you know when you're driving somewhere really really far and it's like you listen to your whole music track so you now you just listen to nothing using your thoughts and i was just i was thinking like man i spent so many hours of grinding so many hours of just like sometimes i'll go to the defect and eat, eat shitty food just to save money so i can be able to get this car and then i went on deployment and then when i went on deployment when i came back i had so much money because i was saving up before i even went on deployment that when I got the car, it was a breeze. It was a breeze. My credit was crazy. It was a breeze, man. I was just like, I really worked my ass off for this car, man. I had so much good discipline. Everybody wanted to spend money on getting this because it was cheap down there. I ain't going to lie. But everybody spent money on shoes, clothes because it's so cheap up there, all this other stuff. And they shipping it back home because, you know, it's cheap up there. You're talking about getting like some Jordans for like about 80 bucks or something like that up there. To them, 80 bucks is like 200 or some crazy shit, but to us it's like 80 bucks or $40 or something like that. For a pair of Jordans, a pair of nice ass Nikes, and sometimes you can get two pairs. So you can get two pairs of shoes for $80. You know what I mean, brand new. So for me, it was like, like you know, I, I, I gotta save, I gotta save. I, I know what I want when I get back. I gotta save, I gotta save, I gotta save. Now that I'm back, I was just like, I really thought about it and I realized like, damn man, I really, I really saved up for this car. I really worked for it. It doesn't like click in until like, you know, I was just in my thoughts. But I feel like anybody in this, you know, who's watching this video will get that moment when they get, whether they get their Stinger, whether they get their Mustang or their BMW F90 or F80, whatever you want to call that thing. And when they get basically get that car of their dream, they're going to look back on it and be like, damn, man, like I really worked for that thing. You know what I mean? And not even when you work and get it, it's the work that you put into the car as well that gets you. Like I had this car for like about three months now. I already got the day before, I already got the intake, I already got the spark plugs, I already got the P PMP uh, plugs, I already got the uh, the waste gauge. You know what I'm saying? And then the Stinger community is so big. You know, it's, it's like you'll see the cars a lot, but it's so big. Like I already went on one of the websites and I was able to like, literally find a jb4 for cheap that was like wasn't no gimme no one was trying to rip me off none of that i started in my car it worked i'm like wow you know what i mean no one's trying to get me no one's trying to like you know lie to me anything like that when they sell stuff they actually trying to sell this stuff to you they're not trying to sell you no piece of crap or anything like that it's like you can always tell the scammers from the people real people but yeah, the, the Sting community is great. And I also saw my friend with the BMW community, which is kind of slicey, but it's still great. The Mark part is a little different. Um, but yeah, it's like when you get your dream car, you just realize like all the work you put into it, you just kind of sit back like, damn, I already did that. You know what I mean? I already did that. Like I'm in my dream car right now. Like, and I don't see any other car in the future that I really want. Maybe a new, new car would come out that get my interest down the line but right now i'm sticking in this to the wheels fall to be honest uh the k5 i was thinking about that too but i was like i kind of need more hurts part because I, I was just like i was barely gapping like barely gapping like like uh 392s barely barely gapping like 392s i don't know how much horsepower i had in that car though but i was barely gapping 392s now this car is gapping 392s like it was like it was a breeze that's before I even put E8, E30 in it. I was on map two. I was gapping 392s like a motherfucker. Like, easy. Wasn't even a challenge. Like, I'm putting four or three cars before him. Now with the E30, it's not even a, like, I can line up with a Mustang 5.0 and I'll feel comfortable. You know what I mean? Very comfortable. I don't care how loud his engine is. I'll, I'll feel extremely comfortable. But when I had a K5, I was like, eh. Like, hey, he's clearly going to beat me. Like, it is what it is. But now it's like, oh, like, you want to smoke? All right. But, yeah, I just, um, I'm basically saying, like, when you get that drink card, you're going to get that experience. And that experience is when you sit back. Like, this is my friend car right next to me. That's his car. And 
he told me about his experience too and i never knew what you're talking about he's like man one day i was sitting in my car bro and i cried i was like what remind you he driving something like bro i hope you ain't know no suicide shit but he was like no man like i cried because i got my dream car i was like hmm he's like yeah man i worked so hard for it and this is the car i always wanted I was driving some dumbass car and I got tired of seeing the car that I really want people driving in and stuff like that. And I was like, that's going to be me one day. And he said he worked his butt off. Sometimes he had to save money. Sometimes he didn't go out to eat. Sometimes he ate like shit. You know what I mean? He was saving, saving, grinding, grinding, grinding until he had that money. And then when he finally got it, he was like, bro, when I finally got that car, man. He's like, the next day I got in my car and I just went on a drive and I was just crying because I really had it. I was like, I I feel you on that way. Like, I ain't cry, but I felt that. Cause I was driving. I was really thinking, like, damn, man. I own a stinger. Like, I'm in it. I'm in it right now. Like, this is my baby. And I almost, almost specked it out. Almost specked it out. Like, I'm not doing any water milk or anything crazy like that. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going in, down that route. Um, I didn't want to stay, like, solid where I'm at right now. Because water milk and all that crazy stuff, I never mess with it. Don't want to. Uh, maybe in the future, maybe I'll think about it, but right now, no, I ain't touching it. I'm just going to, you know, do what I know personally I can handle. Word of mouth is not one of them, so uh, I'm pretty sure it's easy, but no, I'm good. But yeah, nonetheless, I want to talk your head off. Uh, I'm just letting y'all know, like, work hard to get your dream car, and I'm telling you, you you'll get it. Uh, you'll get it. But nonetheless, Bam Bam GT2, and I'm out, man. See y'all again. I'm about to to go get me something to eat. I'm Abbeeks.